Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Semper Paratus. That is the United States Coast Guard's motto. who is always ready to protect and preserve 100,000 miles of U.S. coastline and inland waterways. They also safeguard the exclusive economic zone that covers 4.5 million square miles across nine time zones. whether working on the water, air, or ice. The dedicated men and women that work for the Coast Guard are the heroes that fortify the safety of the people and the $4.6 trillion worth of economic activity within the U.S. coasts. Over 90% of the U.S. imports and exports pass through the 360 ports in the U.S. Established in 1790, the U.S. Coast Guard is one of the five armed services of the United States that also acts as the first responder to provide aid in times of crisis and distress. About 80,000 men and women dedicated their service and operated the multi-mission and interoperable assets of the U.S. Coast Guard. From cutters, boats, fixed and rotary aircraft, and a myriad of weapons that the U.S. Coast Guard utilizes its assets to perform its responsibility. A total of 259 Coast Guard cutters performs their various role with the U.S. Coast Guards. These are vessels that are more than 65 feet long that can carry multiple cutter boat types, Arctic survey boats, and the larger ones can accommodate helicopter landing and takeoff. The cutters are equipped with accommodations for its permanent crew, where they spend an average of about 185 days in the sea. The Legend Class Cutter is the largest in the USCG's fleet of cutters. Measuring about 418 feet long and a displacement of 4,600 tons, this steel hull and steel bulkheads can survive medium threat environments. About 113 officers and enlisted men and women operate the heavily armed vessel, which is also equipped with mine and underwater swimmer location ability. Green diver in the water and ready. About 1,602 Coast Guard boats operate on the inland waterways and shore of the U.S. These smaller boats measure between 12 to 64 feet in length, including heavy weather response boats, special purpose craft, cutter-based boats, and aid to navigation boats. The 47-foot motor lifeboat is the standard lifeboat for the Coast Guard that is capable of conducting fast response rescue in high seas and extreme weather conditions. 
It is designed to self-right within 30 seconds when toppled over by heavy waves. Working against the norm, the Coast Guard icebreakers work towards hitting and breaking whatever comes across its path. The Healy, the largest of the three icebreakers of the USCG, is capable of breaking four and a half feet of ice continuously at three knots. The 16,000 tons vessel can accommodate two H-65 helicopters, as well as about 50 scientists that utilize the boat for research activities. Man overboard procedures for GPAL. The U.S. Coast Guards also operate 200 aircraft from the 24 Coast Guard air stations throughout the nation. The fixed and rotary wing aircraft supports the USCG's role as law enforcement, maritime service, as well as a military service branch. The fleet includes 143 helicopters and 57 aircrafts selected and designed to carry out multiple roles for various missions. The MH-65 helicopter is perhaps the most significant and oldest in the U.S. Coast Guard fleet of aircraft. 98 units of this MH-65, also known as the Dolphin, is used for the short-range rescue mission and is deployable from all flight deck-equipped cutters. It is the speed, versatility, and electronic package of the Dolphins that make it a valuable asset. A central mission computer unit helps generate search patterns that maximize search effectiveness, giving the pilot greater concentration on navigating the helicopter. The U.S. Coast Guard is also acquiring 22 new fully missionized HC-130J aircrafts, also known as the Super Hercules. This long-range surveillance multi-role aircraft provides heavy airlift transportation and maritime patrol over long distance. With a more advanced avionics, engine, and propellers, the Super Hercules provides a 20% increase in speed and altitude, as well as a 40% increase in range over its predecessors. The aircrafts have been deployed worldwide for various missions, including counter-narcotics operations in the Eastern Pacific, as well as search and rescue missions in the Atlantic. Even with its current expansive assets, the U.S. Coast Guard is already preparing for the future. Development of an unmanned aerial system is currently underway, in which information obtained from the system has resulted in enhanced maritime domain awareness and mission execution. Tests have also been carried out on unmanned surface vehicles, in which the system will assist in search and rescue, law enforcement, as well as research. The visual detection of targets captured is delivered in real time, providing a fully informed picture of the surroundings that will enable better planning for the Coast Guards. On average, the U.S. Coast Guard attended almost 20,000 search and rescue missions, saved more than 3,000 lives, and stopped 1.4 million pounds of uncut cocaine bound to the U.S. annually. They also conduct screenings of over 436,000 vessels, as well as 29.5 million crew members and passengers that enter the U.S. waterways. This can only be achieved by fully utilizing the physical assets and its workforce. 
as well as capitalizing and adapting to technological advances that are continuously evolving. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.